So if you're on my video today, this is you trying to publish 250,000 pages on your WordPress blog. Guess what? You don't need AI to do that, um, and I'm going to show you how. So if you're new to my channel, I do pretty much unscripted tutorials, uh, all mostly around Black Hat SEO. Um, and I do it live, just like this video. It's completely authentic, and there's plenty of resources that should shock you. Just go to my channel subscribe, like, do all the things that you typically do because I think it's really good to support me. Or if you want to roast me in the comments, that's fine too. Okay, so here's the thing. You want to publish a ton of content on your page, on your, sorry, on your page, on your WordPress blog. Um, and yeah, you want to do that. That's why you're here. Well, uh, we're actually going to do this. So a lot of other YouTubers, whatever, they don't, they don't actually show you how to do this stuff. I'm different. I show you actually how to do this stuff. But you are going to need to know some things. This is a little bit more advanced, okay? So this is a tutorial, but you got to fill some of the gaps. So no, this is not AI content. But the first thing to know here is, yeah, this is technically spam, okay? So I mean, if you are expecting results by just spamming Google, I mean, I don't think that's going to work. You should really know what you're doing. But I did publish 250,000 pages in 48 hours, and it was totally fine. Um, I wouldn't say we got like tons of traction from it, but it was an experiment for sure. And I, I'm going to show you the workflow on how to do that. So these YouTubers who are publishing, oh, I published 5,000 pages. <sighs> okay. Have they seen my channel? Has anyone seen my channel? I mean, I talk about the real deal stuff. Uh, yeah, 5,000, that's chump change. That's, uh, that's Tonka trucks. Okay, Tonka trucks. All right, so the other thing here to note is that, uh, yeah, you're gonna, this is, you need to know how to edit your WordPress theme and your, you know, your post.php file. Um, whatever it looks like, you just, you need to make sure that your, the data that we're importing, that you actually know how to manipulate that, okay? Like, you need to know how to, you know, know how to manipulate that via, you know, WordPress, okay? Because um, I'm not gonna show you that part. I don't know what strategy you're going after, so it doesn't really make sense for me to show you that part. The only part that it makes sense for me to show you how to do is to implement the data into your database and then you can start working with it in your actual theme, okay? Because I don't know what site you're building. So um, the first thing that you wanna install is this plugin, okay? Um, so I went ahead and already uploaded the uh, uh, import and I'll show you that in a minute. Um, so that way you didn't have to see things that are on my computer because I don't want you to see things that are on my computer. Um, but anyway, you, if you go to installed plugins here, okay, it's called WP All Import. Um, it's completely free, uh, which is awesome. I, I love this tool. So I don't know, SoFly, whoever made it, you guys are awesome. Okay, it lets you take any basically XML or CSV file and manipulate that and turn that into WordPress posts, um, which is super cool in my opinion. Um, so all you need is like a spreadsheet of data. Um, so here I just created a spreadsheet of data around crossword clue answers. I just found this by Googling different data sets that are freely available on the internet. Um, and then manipulating it here in a spreadsheet. So the columns are different um, data sets that I want to import and store underneath uh, particular values. And I'm gonna show you that in a minute, but you wanna start to kind of organize some data within uh, a CSV file here based on just whatever you find on the internet. This isn't gonna be completely your content. I'm gonna show you the output of the content and kind of how to use it in a minute, but you're gonna kind of get your core points across. So let's say you wanted to make, I don't know, a dictionary website. Well, you could do that. You could say, you know, find a find a public CSV file of all the dictionary definitions and words. I mean, there's only one definition. So if you're going to tell me that that's duplicate content on the internet, I mean, it is. Everyone's got the same definition, but the definition of the word is the definition. There's no other way to say it. Um, so this is better for types of data that I would say is like, you know, I, people will call this programmatic SEO. Um, you could call it that, sure. Um, but you can get really creative with how you do it. Um, and this is definitely, yeah, my favorite method. So if you're making a dictionary website, that would be a way to do it. Um, maybe you wanted to make, I don't know, a list of cities and then have things underneath those cities, like things to do for every single city 
or whatever, and you wanted to make that your play, sure. I mean, that doesn't really make a whole lot of sense, but you can understand how you could get a data set of cities and then start manipulating that and working with it, right? Okay, so then once you have your data set of the data that you wanna work with, it becomes a lot easier to understand this once we do the import. So just bear with me and all these kind of like columns will begin to make a lot more sense. Um, you just save the file. So you just go up here and do download and then you do download to CSV or um, Excel file <clears throat> and it'll be fine, okay? Now, um, you just simply upload the CSV file. I mean, look how small it was. Um, actually, if we go back, I'll just show you. This is only 5,000 records, um, but I did 250,000 for a site at some point, so I'll show you that. Um, and yeah, so, you know, again, doesn't mean that this is going to work for you in terms of drawing organic search traffic. I mean, you know, doing SEO is way more complicated than me just showing you some tutorials, but, and that's the reason why I'm willing to show you this, is because even by me showing you all of the tricks, it doesn't mean that it's going to work. You you do need to know the experience. You need to have the experience, and that gets that takes time. Okay, so you do the import. So then you're gonna you're gonna say yes. You're gonna create new posts because we mentioned we're gonna be editing the posts file to have some of our content on it that we want to manipulate. Okay. Um, you can do pages too if you want to do that. That's totally fine. But I like posts. Okay, and then what it'll do here, and you can see it says uh, five, basically 5,000 rows, which is the number of posts that we're going to create here very quickly. Um, <coughs> again, I said I created 250,000, so, um, you know, 5,000 is nothing, really. And, yeah, I just coughed on camera. I told you, this is un uncut. That's the way we want to do this, authentic. Don't you want something authentic? I did, so that's why I decided to post some of this stuff up. Okay, so you've got uh, some of these data sets to work with. You see date, official date, word, clue. All of those are the um, columns that I had put in here, okay? Because these are things that I actually want to manipulate on the page, right? These are things I want to present on the page. So I want to call that up through the actual template file. That's the that's the post dot. PHP template file. So, you know, I have somewhat of a plan here. Okay, so then you go to step three, and it'll actually, it'll ask you to start kind of developing out the template here, which is pretty cool. So I've already got that in mind. With the, um, with the CSV, I did some concatenation, as you can see, to build out, um, you know, variations of things that I wanted to make. And so this is basically handwritten content. You could do variations of all different stuff if you wanted to, right? Just You just concatenate the columns, and then there you go. And then now you can work with that in here. So I'm making actually just dragging and dropping this, and this becomes the clue, okay? So like the thing. And I, this is an actual post, um, and I'm sure you could do more with this and get really creative with this, but I don't actually even use any of that. I just go straight to the custom fields, okay? Um... And yeah, I guess, okay, so you do have to use the pro version for custom fields, so I forgot. I have the pro version for custom fields. This is still free if you don't want to use the custom field, um, but whatever. Okay, so then what you're going to do is you're going to add, basically you're going to add in the name of the custom field, so date, I'm just going to call it that, and then the value is going to be from the actual CSV that we're importing, okay, so... Um, date, official date. We're not gonna. We're not gonna. I'm not gonna have you sit through the import. I'm just doing the step by step with you. Okay. Okay. Date, official date, and then I would do clue. So do you see? These are all actually like values that I'm storing per post that I can call up later in the post uh, template, like in the actual theme. Okay. So you, again, you're gonna need to know how to do that. Um, all right. So I guess that was the only three that I really wanted to do. I just wanted the date. The official date, the word. Oh, I didn't. I forgot word. So I would do like word. Like what is the word? Again, these are all things. Oops, messed up. Word. The name over here is the name that you're gonna call up in the custom field value that you use in your uh, post.php file. I'm not gonna go over that today. Um, if you're watching this tutorial, like you should know how to generally do that. Um, 
you know, creating 250,000 pages is not like a beginner's move. Um, sorry, like it's just not. So you're going to have to know how to, you know, play around with your WordPress file. Okay. And then what you could do is you can just say categories. And if you want to, you can create some new categories. So like I'm going to do like New York Times clues. Um, and this is pretty cool to be able to just assign a category. So if you're doing like an import of like cities or states, you could do Illinois and make a category for Illinois or make a category for California or make a, Californ a category for Texas or something like that. And so um, you could do... Um, you could do things like that, uh, which will definitely help you to stay organized. Um, and then you can assign a specific author too, which is pretty useful. Um, and there's all sorts of different things that you could do in here. And if you ended up making a like a template, like a post template or a page template um, for this particular type of content that you want to serve up on your site, um, you could certainly just select a default template for doing that, okay? So then once you're ready to go, you, you know, you can do all sorts of stuff in here, but I don't really do much of anything. Okay. And then it wants a unique identifier. Um, and so the unique identifier I typically use is like the post title that I've created. So remember I created the post title by just concatenating two different things. Um, like, you know, and this is where your keyword research goes in. If you want to learn more about keyword research, look at my videos. I've got some of the best, I think. So Definitely check those out. Okay, so then once you've got the this all added in there, you would just say create new posts from the records present in the file. You see that? If you wanted to update your posts, you can actually do that. I've found it to be kind of finicky to update the posts. So if you want to add more data to it, you certainly could, and then you're good to go. Like let's say you wanted to add, I don't know, like you missed a field and you want to go in and uh, you want to edit it, uh, you can try to do that through here. One, now, disclaimer two, once you start importing these 5,000 records, these are, these are quite literally 5,000 posts that go onto your page. And so when you start importing 5,000 posts, like be ready that you're going to have to delete 5,000 as well if you screw up. Um, so let's just see if it runs. It may run yeah okay so you can see created 20 of 5,000 records and the import just goes um, and now it's just creating WordPress posts um, on your WordPress site so I don't even know why people are so up in arms and like enamored by this like created 5,000 posts with AI I mean I'm just now I'm creating 5,000 posts without AI also very quickly, I created 250,000 very quickly. Like again, Tonka trucks, all right? This, is, this, this channel is for the bulk ponies. This channel isn't for the faint of heart. So yeah, better subscribe. I mean, geez, are you not convinced by now why you should subscribe? Because I do unique stuff. I do interesting stuff, okay? Anyway, so uh, 340, you can see it just keeps going. So to do 250,000, yeah, I mean, it's just really like the server time of posting that many pieces of data. It's not really me or the, it's not really me or the import. It's just the fact that like the server is kind of slow. I'm just using a basic server here. Um, and so it ends up kind of looking like something like this, um, where, yeah, I mean, I just took all that data and then I just started to manipulate it by putting it into a WordPress uh, post uh, template, right? And I just kind of messed with it. So everything in bold here is something that was imported through that particular uh, spreadsheet that we were looking at, right? And then so I just started writing some words by hand that are in the post template and then using some PHP code, which you can look up easily to bring in some of those custom fields and then just displaying those custom fields. You can do tables, all sorts of things. So yeah, you are kind of doing some custom programming on the post.php page or whatever. And it just depends on what your strategy is, what you're trying to do. That's where I can't really show you because I don't know what kind of site you're building or what it is that you're trying to do. But generally with this knowledge of knowing that you can just take data sets in CSV files and import them very quickly um, and then manipulate that data very quickly, you can create all sorts of stuff. So hopefully that was useful for today. Um, remember that like, you know, this is a little bit more for the advanced person. If you do have questions, um, 
I'm probably not gonna be able to help you very much in the comments, to be perfectly honest, because this one's a little bit more technical and I just don't think, yeah, it's gonna be super easy to help you. But try to rewatch the video a couple times, try to play around with the plugin yourself, um, and then try to, yeah, try to just learn a little bit more about manipulating WordPress themes if you don't know how to do that and then learn how to bring forward um, custom fields that are stored within WordPress post pages, okay? So yeah, definitely learn how to call up via PHP custom fields that are stored, oops, that are stored, wow, that are stored in posts, because that's essentially what we just did. We just took all that data and started storing them within posts. And so you're gonna need to know how to call it up and call it forward to be able to do stuff like this, okay? I hope that this video was useful. Once again, uh, like, subscribe, do all those things. Um, I'm still trying to reach uh, 500 likes on every video, and if I do reach 500 likes on this video, I'm gonna do a giveaway of some kind. I'm gonna give someone some free backlinks or something. Um, and it's gonna be someone that's in the comments. So you have to leave a comment and you have to like this video. And yeah, I think 500 people can like it because I mean, this is, I'm actually showing you how to do something. Who else on YouTube actually shows you how to do something? They just talk to you. All right, have a good day, my black hiders. Let's see those charts go up and to the right.